right. Spot number two. It's kind of like the north southern part of this big chunk of public that we've been scouting the heck out of. He's got a camera back here that he's been getting deer consistently on. I bow hunted back here a couple of times with my buddy and by myself. A couple of younger deer that came through, but we've had a lot of big deer come through later at night. But it seems like they're coming from more of the southern part of this. I'm gonna check out where his camera's at, get an idea of where they're possibly coming and going, and then we're just gonna make our way back all the way to that southern part, right to the border of the private, figure out where they're crossing there, and then scout our way back, see if we can't find any bone on the ground, see if we can't find a good sign. Taste test. No, but I will break it apart. <laughs> See what they Freshened up. Generational rub right there. Better than there. I mean, they could be both sides, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna bet over there with the wind coming this way, bet over here with the wind coming the other way. True. Keeping this at his back, but how matted down it is. Absolutely. Here's another bed. Yeah, we're in it now. Mm -hmm. Got acorns in it. And look on this one, he's got water to this side. It takes right across. Water to that side. Good lay down right here. That's on one of the really good runways that we found. Keep on, keep on following this runway. I can see one of the property signs up there for the neighbor. Yeah, so once we get up to there, we'll see if exactly if it leads into the private or not. And then we kind of already figured out where the two intersections that it meets up at for the best opportunity for a shot. But we'll keep following this and then keep on going south till we hit that border. We're gonna have to find a way to cross this water. There's a log down there that looks like we can crawl across. I might shimmy up this way to see if it gets a little bit shallow before we do that though. We just seen two deer that we kicked up. We're on the property line down there. some hair a series of rubs leading up to it if you pan back he'll sit down right here probably with a stick it at his back so he'll, he'll bed down like this and he'll watch out this way and he'll watch out this way if anything comes from this way he's got his escape route here if anything comes from this way he's gonna escape out here and he's gonna bed this way with the wind at his back. They're always gonna bed with a structure at their back so they can smell behind them and see in front of them. So see. It's kind of a pretty cool bed. And we're identifying it as a buck bed with all the historic rubs around it. So, pretty cool. Good thing. Mark this. All right, so, a little bit over halfway. We've got a, probably about a quarter mile left until we hook back into our original trail, but Stop, take a breather, kind of assess what we've seen today. We haven't seen a ton of like mature buck sign, but we've caught onto a bunch of runways with a good amount of deer sign on them. So like I said, we've still got a, about a quarter mile left. We're gonna continue following the outside edge of this along the river, and then just see what, see what it brings us. 
Um, probably end up scouting this again, but doing more of the interior of it to see if there's any more sign out there or any mature sign. But yeah, it's been good though. Good amount of sign. So definitely the best grip that we found. Still not necessarily a significant one, but it's one they're using. We've got tracks in it, we've got poop in it. And we're still just following this river edge here. These runways seem to just follow the edge of this property, <clears throat> which would make sense like I was explaining before. They're gonna follow that river because they don't have to worry about any predators on the river. Dirt looking branch here, it's broken off. You guys can barely see. Others. Broken one off here too. This That's pretty tall broken. too. I mean, as you guys can one. see, it's up to its chin. Uh, and there was that historical rub. Probably like five, ten yards behind this. So we've got a main, main path, main runway that comes from the well, this preserve right here that we can't hunt. But we had pictures, plenty of pictures of big deer coming out of into this public. And then if you look at that waterway over there, <clears throat> we were on the other side of it, following that in. And there was another runway that all kind of meets up to a point right here. And not only is it where it meets up, but it's where it meets up to that water crossing too. So there should be a lot of activity there. So that's somewhere that not only do I plan on hunting a couple times this year, but I'm going to put a camera and leave it up all year. Right on that crossing. Yep. Somebody's been here recently too. I've dropped this camera about three times already. That's it for spot three, y'all.